about to head out to class and I'm not having a good morning. So I'm hoping the day goes better. I'm going to be practicing on my silicone skin all day and working on my technique and hopefully I can just zone out this day into that. Day two of permanent makeup education. So far so good. I'm enjoying it. It's a lot of information at once and a lot's going on and I'm really just focusing on absorbing everything I can while I'm there. I have some take home homework that I'll be working on and if I'm feeling up to it maybe I'll take out my machine, work on my skin. Um, I'm really feeling it though. I think this is something I can do. Um, that was my biggest fear is am I going to invest in this course and end up not liking it? But so far, so good. Um, I have like such a respect for Manaz, who's the owner of the institution that does the education. She's just amazing to watch work. She's just graceful but strong and very talented and sure of what she's doing. And um, that's always a good sign for me. I always feel like when I have someone that I can see myself in that role, then um, it inspires me and motivates me even more to emanate what, they're, what they have and the energy that they have. So uh, I think I picked the right place. I'm um, looking forward to relaxing a little bit. I miss my kids, but um, I definitely am going to take advantage of this me time and do a little reading and do a little of nothing as well. So stay tuned. Um, we finished most of the theory stuff today and I started finally working with the machine and working on my skin and um, I'm finding that the techniques they're showing me of course I want to learn my fundamentals but me being the rebel and rule breaker that I am I'm already thinking of different things I can do with this machine that may not be super customary but um, as a makeup artist I feel like would have a really good result so um, that's all for today uh, like I said I'm gonna go into vegetable mode but I'm looking forward to having more fun stuff to report. They've already booked me three clients on Thursday, so i really got to get my practice in tomorrow. And I'm just going to watch and observe everything I can. And if I'm going to ask if they let me. I'm going to stay from the 7 to 2, or I'm sorry, the 9 to 2 course and the 3 to 7 course if they let me. Because the fact of the matter is, I want to be as immersed in this as possible. And um, I want my brain to just be surrounded by it and um, absorb everything I can this week. So like I said, two days down, and I already feel like I've learned so much, but there's so much more to learn and grow with. So of course the learning isn't going to end when I leave here. So um, looking forward to the next update. Running late, excited. Today's my first day actually working on people. So I'm really nervous. I heard this up last night, to be honest. I wonder if surgeons feel this way. I'm not by any means a surgeon, but the responsibility of working on a person for a permanent or semi-permanent um, application is so much different than hair and makeup. Like, when people complain about their hair and makeup, it's like, whatever, it's temporary. Get over it. I mean, I'm sensitive to it, but I'm not that like, oh, your life is over. But permanently marking someone's face there's just such a responsibility to it, and I guess I just really take it seriously. So we'll see how it goes. Hey guys, Melissa here. Um, I am actually just doing a quick video before I set up for my next client. Uh, I've talked a little bit about um, becoming a new permanent makeup artist, and I've been uh, working on a few clients. I just got my training a couple months ago at the end of the January and it's the beginning of March so not even a couple of months but being that I've been a makeup artist for almost 20 years now well professionally maybe like 10 15 um, probably 10 uh, really getting paid gigs and really going out there and having a professional kit and not just doing it for people friends and family that kind of thing and licensed for about nine so um, you know, uh, doing permanent makeup has always kind of been a fascination to me. And um, once I had the opportunity, I kind of seized it. I was like, you know what, time to invest in myself and get some new skills. 
And I'm really glad that I did. Um, you know, it is a scary thing to jump into a new skill like that. But to be honest, when I went to the school, there was ladies there who had zero makeup experience and zero cosmetology experience. So having that behind me really, really made the process and transition kind of smooth because you have to go over color theory, sanitation, things like that. And beauticians know that that's like the fundamental of what we do. Yes, it's an art and all of that, but if we are contaminating our clients and spreading disease or um, picking inappropriate colors and not understanding what's complementary and that kind of stuff, um, you know, it really makes a big difference. I feel like that's the cornerstone. So it was very helpful. and. I just really felt for the girls who just jumped right into this uh, permanent makeup, you know, that were housewives or that just like decided, oh, you know, my girlfriends all want it done, so I'll just start to do it. So um, if you're an artist, then, you know, you have the color kind of composition background, so that's helpful. It was one lady who had that kind of background. But um, so far, I've been feeling really com comfortable and confident in it. So it's definitely been a good choice so far. Um, I'm looking forward to growing in the permanent makeup world and uh, I really encourage you that if you want to learn something new, definitely jump right in. If it's not for you, then sometimes you just have to cut your loss. Uh, permanent makeup, if you decide to go through the education and buy all the materials and then you decide not to do it, it'd be an expensive lesson, but <laughs> you always have that choice. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and work on my client, and uh, she is getting eyebrows and eyeliner today, so it's going to be a very fun day. I uh, will talk to you all soon, and if you have any questions on permanent makeup or how the transition is going, please let me know.